What's up, anime fans? James Dancer here, and welcome to another review. And this time, I'll be reviewing episode 85 of Yu Gi Oh! Frames. Now, we start the episode off with a bit of a, a Haru tantrum. Now, if you don't know who Haru is, it's this character right up on screen. Just here. So, after an order given to him by Lightning, Haru is told to go off and face Blue Maiden. But before that, he visits his brother, Bowman, who is currently being synchronised to um, the data of Link Frames' mirror world. And this is where the tantrum starts. So, Haru's not really getting the whole brother relationship type of vibe, and he sees Bowman as more of a burden. Especially in the earlier sort of episodes where we see him together, he's basically like the babysitter on Bowman, and that's his only role. So the idea of a brother never really gets through to him. However, throughout this entire scene, Bowman is showing genuine concern for his brother Haru, owing to the fact that he even goes as far as stating that if you lose in the mirror frames, you end up being erased, and for an AI, that's a pretty big thing. So, it's kind of like the whole, if Playmaker lost, he lost his Ignis, and, you know, that sort of ordeal. If you lose, you're done. We don't know what it means for humans, because if they lose, does the account just get erased? Or do they, like, die in the real world? We don't know. Maybe um, next week's episode will clear that up. But anyway, we go right ahead into the duel with Blue Maiden and Haru. Now, it starts off a bit disappointing, because Haru doesn't use any new cards at all. Like, he uses a high drive deck, which is basically identical to the deck that Bowman used against Playmaker in the second duel on top of the statues. And the tantrum continues in this duel, because Haru's like, oh, I used his deck first, I taught him how to duel, Bowman that is and basically states to Blue Maiden, what do you know? You're not even related to your brother, being um, Zyzen. And I didn't know this, but I don't know if it was ever revealed beforehand, but Aoi and Akira are um, our stepbrothers and sister. I actually didn't know this, I might have missed it, but let me know in the comment section if that was already revealed to us. Otherwise, that's quite a big thing to just drop on us, doesn't it? So, the duel continues, and Haru uses a skill to basically get Judgment Arrows out quickly. Which, all the bad guys are relying way too much on Judgment Arrows, and it's just... It's just getting sad, really, because it's just, if you can stop Judgment Arrows, you win. Which is basically what Spectre's saying in the preview, but we'll get there in a minute. Now, the surprising thing, and the not really needed type of thing that happened in this episode, was Blue Maiden's power-up slash change of deck. So, and a bit of a playstyle difference. So she gets a new archetype, which is um, Marie Princess, or Marie Priss. I'm butchering the name horribly. I'll put it up on screen so you can read the actual name for yourself. But essentially what it is, it's a very sort of like sea coral related sort of deck with a lot of female sort of characters, monsters. So, this deck is, it's okay. I like it, the monster designs are pretty good and the playstyle seems okay. Once it gets more flushed out then it should be a bit more exciting. But where her previous Trickstar deck was to do with burning and damaging your opponent that way, this deck is more on building up your current monsters by sacrificing your own monsters and using trap cards from your hand if you have a Link 3 monster. And by this point, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! Brain character without a Link 3 monster, what are you doing? I mean, that's the whole purpose is Link summoning in this series and, you know, the threes and fours are where it's at. You need to use ones and twos if you're using skills or comboing. So, yeah. However, the skills for the cards are really good. 
and basically nullify, nullifying the opponent's abilities and getting your cards back into your hand so you can combo. However, the way this duel ended for me was actually a very good highlight. After using her skill, Water of the Sea, which is a little bit of a weird name, but we'll go with it, where basically Blue Maiden can add one monster from her GY to the field, equal to or less than the life point damage she's taken from her opponent that turn. So she gets her link with two out, go to link three, does a lot more comboing to get the power up, and then once she's attacked, she uses a, a trap card from her hand, which deals a lot of burn damage, and is a classic hourly technique to burn your opponent with life point damage in order to win a duel. I think she gets up to about 2,200 with this combo, so that's very good to see. So overall, the duel was okay, after which Haru like flies backwards, realises what good memories he's had with Bowman, realises what brother means, and then he gets erased. The music was nice in this scene, but it wasn't that impactful. Haru is a character which I don't personally like and don't really care about, and neither does Lightning in the series. I mean, Lightning goes and states at the start that you know, when he's asked by Haru if he can beat Blue Maiden, Lightning just replies with, you don't have to win, just buy time. Like, he, no one believed in him apart from Bowman in the series, and quite frankly, he hasn't built up to be a good character. Unlike the Earth sort of erasure sort of scene, if that's even a word, you know, that was more impactful than this scene right now. So, they could have probably done that a little better. But anyway, the animation overall in this episode was okay, and the music and sound effects were great. One effect that I really did like, and I'll give them a thumbs up for, is when Blue Maiden's monsters get destroyed, they need like a little splash, and I don't know why it was a small effect, but I just really enjoyed it. So that's going to wrap it up for this review. Smash that like button if you did, and subscribe if you're new, and become a... And become a Slippy Slider today. If you don't know what a Slippy Slider is, check the description down below where I'll link a video explaining what that's all about. But until next time, my name's James Townsend, and I'll catch you in the next review. Bye for now.